Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So in our last video, we looked at how we can multiply by a power of two. And we use a technique called bit shifting, or specifically bit shifting to the left, because we are multiplying. And the way that we did that was to say, if I want to multiply this number by this number, then I need to check that at least one of the numbers is a power of two. Well, this one is. Then I can count how many trailing zeros there are. So that's one zero. Then I can put the remaining number on here. So one, one, zero. So this number has now been bit shifted to the left by one digit. So in today's video, we're going to look at the opposite, which is bit shifting to the right, which is what happens when you divide by a power of two. And unsurprisingly, the process is pretty similar. Check that one of the, at least one of the numbers is a power of two. So this one, for instance. Then I'm going to bit shift this number by one column to the right. So it becomes one, zero, one. And I'll just put in that leading zero just to make it tidy. So what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and give this question a go. Divide this number by this number. Okay, so this time we have two trailing zeros. That means we're going to bit shift this number two columns to the right. So we'll end up with one, one, zero, zero, just filling in the first zeros. So the first question that pupils generally ask is what happens when we get a situation that looks like this? What happens if I have oh, let's imagine I have this binary number here and now I want to divide by that binary number. If I bit shift this binary number by one column what happens to this one? In normal denary mathematics, we have a decimal po point. Now at this stage, all we're going to do is to ignore that last one. So the answer becomes one. So because this one gets dropped off, we're only gonna worry about this one here. Uh, effectively, we're performing the integer division. If you remember that from Python, the two backslashes. Okay, so that's a brief overview of bit shifting to the right. As always, if you have any questions, let me know. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.